In the previous video, we completed our straight track. And in this video, we're going to work on our curve track portion of this. As we can see down here, uh, uh, all of our radiuses for this curve track are right there. So we're going to come over to our part studio that we've already created that I entitled Curve Track. I'm going to create a sketch along my front plane. I'm going to orientate myself to the front. And I'm going to do this one a little bit differently. So you're going to notice I'm going to line up on the center line. And I'm just going to draw the general shape of my part. Uh, the only dimension that I really need is the height of my part. Everything else, as long as I make sure lines up and makes right angles on this. So again, you can see I'm going to line up there. I'm just going to draw this general shape of this part here as well. I'm going to escape because I do need to make sure that this is a one inch line here. So I'm going to make that one inch and then connect here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use dimensioning to form this part. So I know from the center line here to here, my part is 18.4 inches. I also know from the inside here to here, that my part is 15 inches. Now, I'm not going to do the inside part. I should work outside in. That's what I should have been doing. So I'm going to do the same thing as I'm going to dimension from this line right here to my center line here. We'll move this up so I can create a little bit of room. This is 18.2 inches. I'm gonna do the same thing now from this line to my center line. This is gonna be 15.5 inches. And this is just, again, a different way of modeling this part. So I have my 15.5 inches, then from this inside line here, so my dimension. So from this inside line here to that origin axis is going to be 15.2 uh, inches. And then from this point right here to the start, is going to be 15 inches. Uh, I actually did make a slight error. This is going to be 15.55 inches as I'm looking at the diagram now. So there is our general shape. So a few things that we still have to do to this. Uh, we need to dimension the bottom of this to here. Uh, that's 0.813 inches. And we're going to do the same thing here, and that's 0 0.813, 0 0.813 inches, 0.813 inches. So we can see now is we have our part dimensioned out. I'm just double checking. I missed one dimension, which is this line here. I want to select that line there to the center line. Let's escape that. Let's try that again. Uh, we're going to go from the center line to the center line. Let's zoom out on that. And there we go. And as I look, this is 17.85 inches. There we go. So we can now see as my part diagram is built. Uh, I'm gonna leave this on screen for a little bit so we can kind of see what we're doing. We have uh, our total length of 18.4 to our 18.2. We have our depth here. Uh, the next video will show what to do with this sketch. 